Hello, it's Mandy, your gluten-free OT. Welcome back to Beyond Behavior. Today, I'm gonna pivot just a little bit away from talking about gluten, and we are gonna talk about being dairy-free. Specifically, I'm gonna introduce you to my 16-year-old daughter, Abby, and we're gonna do a little a taste test game of three different dairy-free ranch dressings that we've purchased at the store in an effort to kind of normalize this experience of eliminating certain foods from our diets. Now, having lived with celiac disease for almost five years now, we are not new to this process of having to, you know, navigate school lunches, fast food restaurants, holidays, all the things, and not being able to eat what everybody else eats. So our hope is that we can just make this a little bit easier, take away some of the guesswork for you, and show you some of our favorites that we found along the way. You might be wondering, what is an OT doing talking about eliminating dairy? And I guess I can tell you, you know, I kind of come at this from three different perspectives. First of all, as I've mentioned, food allergies are not new to my family. My two daughters and I have celiac disease, so we've walked through this. We've walked through some of the challenges and some of the big wins of eliminating foods and then realizing, gosh, you really do feel better for doing so. Secondly, I've been a pediatric occupational therapist for over 20 years now, and in the past 10 years, I've worked primarily in early intervention, and so that has included a lot of work with little ones on feeding. So whether it's a child who's a picky eater or, you know, maybe in this instance has been diagnosed with a food allergy and has to change their diet, or even kids who have started out not eating by mouth and are transitioning to oral feeding, Feeding has been part of my professional work for a long time. I'm passionate about it, but also I know the emotional connection that has, especially for parents. It's it's a high emotion thing. And so again, in my, my personal life and my professional life, there's kind of a, a marriage there of understanding on both realms why this is so important and really having a passion for wanting to walk with families and help you through this. Right. This is my daughter, Abby. Hello, Ab. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for doing this. So I shared a little bit about our journey to being gluten-free because of having celiac disease, but tell me a little bit about why you've chosen to be dairy-free. Well, I'd say it was influenced because you went dairy-free. <laughs> and then also like it just makes my stomach hurt and gets like super crampy. And especially like if I'm gonna play sports or something, like I definitely don't eat dairy before I play sports because I'll get really sick. <laughs> Yeah, well, I hear that. So, all right. So part of our experience too has been learning how to navigate school lunches. So like this is something we've been doing for a while. Baggy snacks with little containers because you can't eat everything they have at school, correct? Correct. <laughs> so today we're gonna take a look at three different dressings. This is one I purchased, I believe at Aldi. I think I got this one at Target actually. And this one, Giant Eagle. So Abby doesn't know which is which. They're numbered here, whoops, <laughs> and labeled on the bottom, but she can't see. So we're gonna go ahead and have her do a taste test, seeing which she likes best. All right, so this is a common snack you would yeah. Like, yeah, take for lunch or you know to volleyball practice or whatever. So here we go. Number one. <laughs> okay, what do you think? I'm good. Okay, so we're looking at like, how does this compare? You know, cause we love like the Hidden Valley, traditional Hidden Valley Ranch dressing. How does that compare as far as taste, texture? That one I think was the thickest, would you say? Yeah. You wanna give it a stir so they can see how thick? Yeah. It's so almost like a, <laughs> almost like a, a dip that you get, like an actual vegetable dip, huh? Yeah, it tastes like garlic bread. Oh, okay, garlic bread. I, that's just the first thing that came in my head. Okay, so that's number one. What do we have for number two? I'm gonna try to get more ranch so I can really taste the ranch. Good. I don't like that one. <laughs> okay, what is that? What's the don't like? It tastes like vinegar. Vinegar, so like a little bitter. 
Yeah, I don't like okay. that one. So number two, was it as um, thick as the others or? No. A little bit runnier? Yeah. No. It has a more consistency of like ranch. A more typical ranch. Okay. Oh, this one's and, thick too. Oh, number three, nice and thick. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> three is a no-go. <laughs> Okay, so that was a pretty dramatic reaction. <laughs> we had number one. What would you say about number one? That was the best. Best. Number two? Tolerable. Tolerable. Number three? Don't buy it. Don't buy it. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> okay, so which one do you think was your favorite? Probably that one. Really? Okay, do you want to see what number that is? One. One! It's, it's the, it has the same leaf thing and the same color, and it looks like it's thicker. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Well, what's number two? Guessing this one. Okay. So that one's tolerable. Yeah. <laughs> and number three? Uh -huh. Thumbs down. What even is this? Well, it was one of the selections that were dairy free. So there you have it. Number one got two thumbs up. I would actually like. I'll probably eat more later. Like, that's good. Okay. Number two, could if, eat maybe yeah. like on a salad with more flavors. I or feel, yeah, I feel like that would be good with a salad. Okay. And number three, I don't even. No go. No. Tell us how you really feel. It's gross. <laughs> well, thanks for your help here, Chica. <laughs> so, this is what's going to go in your lunches. Good job. This one. I like it.